All right, so just want to do a quick review of the uh, Road Warrior. And um, I actually got this under warranty because the dealership that I got, I had a, I had a clamshell on there. I think it was a crater. And uh, they sold me it with a broken mounting bracket. So, you know, you get what you get what you wish, I guess. So, anyways, I got the 15-inch uh, screen on here. This is a 2017 Dyna Street Bob. Um, it looks pretty good. I think this is the ghost fairing. It's like that... 40% black. It's not the full black, of course. Um, it mounts up in the front of the fork, not the back. And um, I'm 6'1", and with the 15-inch, it f sits pretty good. I put the Legends, the 14-inch Revo A's up, and um, it bring the bike up two inches from stock. And... Uh, I do get a little bit of wind buffeting with a full face on and even if I don't have that on I do but it's not uncomfortable it's not like you're riding without the fairing but I will say that the fairing actually doesn't offer a lot of wind protection you still get a lot in your chest um, which I thought that was going to take away and this is actually wider than I thought it was going to be which isn't a bad thing. I do like the look of it. And uh, it it does block the wind, but not as much as I would like. I think I would have to go to like RWD type fairing. Maybe not the full FXRT fairing, but something like that in order to get more wind off my chest. But it does the job. Um, if you're just cruising around and you're not riding highway all the time, this I would recommend. But if you're riding highway a lot then I would recommend saving your money and go spend some more money unfortunately on something that offers a little bit more yeah so like I said I'm 6'1 with the 15 inch fairing with the 14 inch Revo A's and I do get a little buffeting I said that before but when I had the stock shocks on with the 15 inch fairing there was no buffeting on my helmet and um, I could see like I was looking through barely right here, barely. So it actually made me look a lot more forward down the road, which isn't a bad thing um, when I had the stock height shocks on there. So if you're thinking about getting taller shocks um, and you're riding highway, then I would go with the 17 inch fairing, but it all depends on your height. So I just want to give that kind of update on it, but it isn't a bad fairing. Um, it doesn't rattle, it's high quality, high quality plastic and the glass or whatever this is, I think it's plastic, ABS type shit, but it does the job. There's no rattling and the, it's really easy to clean. You just tighten these by hand and, uh, you can take the whole windshield off. That way you don't get any moisture in between here and the fairing when you're cleaning it. Um. Yeah, you don't use any chemicals like Windex. You don't use any of that, only soap and water. And uh, I actually haven't polished the fairing, but I'm sure you can do that. But I don't want to paint it. I like the black and red contrast. But yeah, that's the uh, Road Warrior fairing summed up. Hope you guys enjoy it. Leave a comment if you have any questions.